Good day and God bless you. Welcome to the Bible reading in chronological order. Just such a privilege to have you with us. We thank the Lord for each of you. Thank you for joining us in this short overview and in the reading of the word of the Lord together. I pray that it would be a blessing to you as it has been to us. And I pray that the Lord would just teach us more of his word and help us to read through his word more, to just know him through his word. I know that it will be a blessing to you. Today we're busy in the book of Jeremiah again. And we're going to be going through chapters 32, 33, and 34. So when we get into chapter 32, we see that this chapter deals with a very dark time in the life of the prophet Jeremiah as he is imprisoned for speaking the word of the Lord. Now, it's strange how the nation of God or the people of the Lord could not stand the word of the Lord anymore, so much so that they imprisoned and persecuted those that were called to bring it to them. This is scary. But maybe it's not so different in our day for those who speak the difficult words of truth. But it is during this time that Jeremiah makes his claim before the Lord. He raises his suffering to God, but does so in a song of praise of the might and the glory and the splendor of the Lord. He talks about how the Lord brought them back out of Egypt and all of these things. But during this time... The captivity of Judah is confirmed, and even in this dark hour, the Lord promises a gracious return for the remnant who would call on his name again. I love verse 40 as it says, And I will make an everlasting covenant with them, that I will not turn away from them to do them good, but I will put my fear in their hearts, that they shall not depart from me. The Lord is going to make it possible for the people to adhere to his word. The Lord is going to make a special way for the people to be able to live in the way of the Lord. And we see that is confirmed later on, even with the church, that he says he will write his law upon our hearts. And that's so beautiful. Then we get to chapter 33, in which Jeremiah continues the word of the Lord with the promise of a gracious return to the land of promise for the children of the Lord. And again, Jeremiah uses the beautiful imagery of the bride and the bridegroom, which leads us to understand that this prophecy is twofold and really pertains to our time as well. In fact, what the Lord promises the people is very clearly a promise of the time when the Lord will reign. And so he uh, prophesies of the branch of righteousness, the Christ, our Lord which is to come and rule and reign on the throne of David. And then we see, as the chapter draws to a close, that Jeremiah, almost going back into his own time, continues into chapter 34 to prophesy of the destruction of Jerusalem and the captivity of Zedekiah, which Jeremiah was imprisoned for. Now we see that in this chapter how Zedekiah makes a decree that all the Hebrew servants needed to be set free from slavery, which the people adhered to at the first, but then brought the people into slavery again. And this really displeased the Lord greatly as they disobeyed the word of the Lord. The Lord actually likens this to polluting his name. And thus the Lord proclaims destruction to those evil persons in the land. And the Lord speaks about the destruction that would befall them. This is very difficult, but a lot of this can be taken in the mirror of the word when we look at ourselves as well. How we profess the word of the Lord and how we make these bold claims that we will serve the Lord. And very quickly we turn on ourselves, we turn on the Lord, we turn on the way of the Lord and we just continue in the evil that we have done before. It's very important that we understand that This is a pattern that has happened so many times. But the Lord is gracious and the Lord wants to bring us back to Him. And the Lord has given us His Spirit in our age that He promised to write His law upon our hearts if we will come to Him in repentance. And so when we look at it and we read through these things, don't just look at it and say, oh, how bad the children of Israel were. Think about it in the light of our own lives, how many times we do the exact same thing. And then let us make a stand for the word of the Lord and let us do the will of the Lord as we seek to draw closer to him, especially as we see the time approaching. We're going to leave it here for today. I pray that the Lord will bless you and keep you. May his face shine upon you. May he give you peace. God bless you as you enjoy the reading of the word today. 
chapter 32. The word that came to Jeremiah from the Lord in the tenth year of Zedekiah king of Judah, which was the eighteenth year of Nebuchadrezzar. For then the king of Babylon's army besieged Jerusalem, and Jeremiah the prophet was shut up in the court of the prison, which was in the king of Judah's house. For Zedekiah king of Judah had shut him up, saying, Wherefore dost thou prophesy and say, Thus saith the Lord, Behold, I will give this city into the hand of the king of Babylon, and he shall take it. And Zedekiah king of Judah shall not escape out of the hand of the Chaldeans, but shall surely be delivered into the hand of the king of Babylon, and shall speak with him mouth to mouth, and his eyes shall behold his eyes. And he shall lead Zedekiah to Babylon, and there shall he be until I visit him, saith the Lord. Though ye fight with the Chaldeans, ye shall not prosper. And Jeremiah said, The word of the Lord came unto me, saying, Behold, Hanamiel the son of Shalom, thine uncle, shall come unto thee, saying, Buy thee my field that is in Anathoth, for the right of redemption is thine to buy it. So Hanamiel, mine uncle's son, came to me in the court of the prison, according to the word of the Lord, and said unto me, Buy my field, I pray thee, that is in Anathoth, which is in the country of Benjamin, for the right of inheritance is thine, and the redemption is thine. Buy it for thyself. Then I knew that this was the word of the Lord. And I bought the field of Hanamiel, my uncle's son, that was in Anathoth, and weighed him the money, even seventeen shekels of silver. And I subscribed the evidence, and sealed it, and took witnesses, and weighed him the money in the balances. So I took the evidence of the purchase, both that which was sealed according to the law and custom, and that which was open. And I gave the evidence of the purchase unto Baruch, the son of Neriah, the son of Maasiah, in the sight of Hanamiel, my uncle's son and in the presence of the witnesses that subscribed the book of the purchase, before all the Jews that sat in the court of the prison. And I charged Baruch before them, saying, Thus saith the Lord of hosts, the God of Israel, Take these evidences, this evidence of the purchase, both which is sealed and this evidence which is opened, and put them in an earthen vessel, that they may continue many days. For thus saith the Lord of hosts, the God of Israel, Houses and fields and vineyards shall be possessed again in this land. Now when I had delivered the evidence of the purchase unto Baruch the son of Neriah, I prayed unto the Lord, saying, O oh Lord God, behold, thou hast made the heaven and the earth by thy great power, and stretched out arm, and there is nothing too hard for thee. Thou showest loving kindness unto thousands, and recompensest the iniquity of the fathers into the bosom of their children after them. The great, the mighty God, the Lord of hosts is his name great in counsel and mighty in work. For thine eyes are open upon all the ways of the sons of men to give every one according to his ways and according to the fruit of his doings, which hast set signs and wonders in the land of Egypt, even unto this day, and in Israel, and among other men, and hast made thee a name as at this day, and hast brought forth thy people Israel out of the land of Egypt with signs and with wonders, and with a strong hand and with a stretched out arm, and with great terror, and hast given them this land, which thou didst swear to their fathers to give them, a land flowing with milk and honey. And they came in and possessed it. But they obeyed not thy voice, neither walked in thy law. They have done nothing of all that thou commandedst them to do. Therefore thou hast caused all this evil to come upon them. Behold, the mounts, they are come unto the city to take it, and the city is given into the hand of the Chaldeans that fight against it, because of the sword, and of the famine, and of the pestilence. And what thou hast spoken is come to pass, and behold, thou seest it. And thou hast said unto me, O Lord God, buy thee the field for money, and take witnesses, for the city is given into the hand of the Chaldeans. Then came the word of the Lord unto Jeremiah, saying, Behold, I am the Lord, the God of all flesh. Is there anything too hard for me? Therefore thus saith the Lord, Behold, I will give this city into the hand of the Chaldeans, and into the hand of Nebuchadrezzar king of Babylon, and he shall take it. And the Chaldeans that fight against this city shall come and set fire on this city, and burn it with the houses, upon whose roofs they have offered incense unto Baal, and poured out drink offerings unto other gods, to provoke me to anger. For the children of Israel and the children of Judah have only done evil before me from their youth. For the children of Israel have only provoked me to anger with the work of their hands, saith the Lord. 
For this city hath been to me as a provocation of mine anger and of my fury from the day that they built it even unto this day, that I should remove it from before my face because of all the evil of the children of Israel and of the children of Judah, which they have done to provoke me to anger. They, their kings, their princes, their priests, and their prophets, and the men of Judah and the inhabitants of Jerusalem. And they have turned unto me the back and not the face. Though I taught them, rising up early and teaching them, yet they have not hearkened to receive instruction. But they set their abominations in the house, which is called by my name, to defile it. And they built the high places of Baal, which are in the valley of the son of Hinnom, to cause their sons and their daughters to pass through the fire unto Molech, which I commanded them not. Neither came it into my mind that they should do this abomination to cause Judah to sin. And now therefore thus saith the Lord, the God of Israel, concerning this city, whereof ye say, it shall be delivered into the hand of the king of Babylon by the sword, and by the famine, and by the pestilence. Behold, I will gather them out of all countries, whither I have driven them in mine anger, and in my fury, and in great wrath, and I will bring them again unto this place. And I will cause them to dwell safely, and they shall be my people, and I will be their God. And I will give them one heart and one way, that they may fear me forever, for the good of them and of their children after them. And I will make an everlasting covenant with them, that I will not turn away from them, to do them good. But I will put my fear in their hearts, that they shall not depart from me. Yea, I will rejoice over them, to do them good. And I will plant them in this land, assuredly with my whole heart and with my whole soul. For thus saith the Lord, like as I have brought all this great evil upon this people, so will I bring upon them all the good that I have promised them. And the fields shall be bought in this land, whereof ye say, it is desolate without man or beast, it is given into the hand of the Chaldeans. Men shall buy fields for money, and subscribe evidences, and seal them, and take witnesses in the land of Benjamin, and in the places about Jerusalem, and in the cities of Judah, and in the cities of the mountains, and in the cities of the valley, and in the cities of the south. For I will cause their captivity to return, saith the Lord. Chapter 33 Moreover the word of the Lord came unto Jeremiah the second time, while he was yet shut up in the court of the prison, saying, Thus saith the Lord, the maker thereof, the Lord that formed it to establish it. The Lord is his name. Call unto me, and I will answer thee, and show thee great and mighty things which thou knowest not. For thus saith the Lord, the God of Israel, concerning the houses of this city, and concerning the houses of the kings of Judah, which are thrown down by the mounts and by the sword. They come to fight with the Chaldeans, but it is to fill them with the dead bodies of men, whom I have slain in mine anger and in my fury, and for all whose wickedness I have hid my face from this city. Behold, I will bring it health and cure, and I will cure them, and will reveal unto them the abundance of peace and truth. And I will cause the captivity of Judah and the captivity of Israel to return, and will build them as at the first. And I will cleanse them from all their iniquity, whereby they have sinned against me. And I will pardon all their iniquities, whereby they have sinned, and whereby they have transgressed against me. And it shall be to me a name of joy, a praise, and an honor before all the nations of the earth, which shall hear all the good that I do unto them. And they shall fear and tremble for all the goodness and for all the prosperity that I procure unto it. Thus saith the Lord, Again there shall be heard in this place which ye say shall be desolate without man and without beast, even in the cities of Judah and in the streets of Jerusalem that are desolate, without man and without inhabitant and without beast, the voice of joy and the voice of gladness, the voice of the bridegroom and the voice of the bride, the voice of them that shall say, Praise the Lord of hosts, for the Lord is good, for his mercy endureth forever and of them that shall bring the sacrifice of praise into the house of the Lord. For I will cause to return the captivity of the land as at the first, saith the Lord. Thus saith the Lord of hosts, again in this place which is desolate without man and without beast, and in all the cities thereof shall be an habitation of shepherds causing their flocks to lie down. In the cities of the mountains, in the cities of the vale, and in the cities of the south, and in the land of Benjamin, 
and in the places about Jerusalem, and in the cities of Judah, shall the flocks pass again unto the hands of him that telleth them, saith the Lord. Behold, the days come, saith the Lord, that I will perform that good thing which I have promised unto the house of Israel and to the house of Judah. In those days, and at that time, will I cause the branch of righteousness to grow up unto David, and he shall execute judgment and righteousness in the land. In those days shall Judah be saved, and Jerusalem shall dwell safely. And this is the name wherewith she shall be called, the Lord our righteousness. For thus saith the Lord, David shall never want a man to sit upon the throne of the house of Israel. Neither shall the priests of the Levites want a man before me to offer burnt offerings and to kindle meat offerings and to do sacrifice continually. And the word of the Lord came unto Jeremiah, saying, Thus saith the Lord, If ye can break my covenant of the day and my covenant of the night, and that there should not be day and night in their season, then may also my covenant be broken with David my servant that he should not have a son to reign upon his throne, and with the Levites, the priests, my ministers. As the host of heaven cannot be numbered, neither the sand of the sea measured, so will I multiply the seed of David, my servant, and the Levites that minister unto me. Moreover, the word of the Lord came to Jeremiah, saying, Considerest thou not what this people have spoken, saying, The two families which the Lord hath chosen, he hath even cast them off? Thus they have despised my people, that they should be no more a nation before them. Thus saith the Lord, If my covenant be not with day and night, and if I have not appointed the ordinances of heaven and earth, then will I cast away the seed of Jacob and David my servant, so that I will not take any of his seed to be rulers over the seed of Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob. For I will cause their captivity to return and have mercy on them. Chapter 34 The word which came unto Jeremiah from the Lord, when Nebuchadnezzar king of Babylon and all his army and all the kingdoms of the earth of his dominion and all the people fought against Jerusalem and against all the cities thereof, saying, Thus saith the Lord the God of Israel, Go and speak to Zedekiah king of Judah and tell him, Thus saith the Lord, Behold, I will give this city into the hand of the king of Babylon, and he shall burn it with fire. And thou shalt not escape out of his hand, but shalt surely be taken and delivered into his hand. And thine eyes shall behold the eyes of the king of Babylon, and he shall speak with thee mouth to mouth. And thou shalt go to Babylon. Yet hear the word of the Lord, O Zedekiah king of Judah. Thus saith the Lord of thee. Thou shalt not die by the sword, but thou shalt die in peace. And with the burnings of thy fathers, the former kings which were before thee, so shall they burn odors for thee. And they will lament thee, saying, Ah, Lord, for I have pronounced the word, saith the Lord. Then Jeremiah the prophet spake all these words unto Zedekiah king of Judah in Jerusalem, when the king of Babylon's army fought against Jerusalem and against all the cities of Judah that were left, against Lachish and against Azekah, for these defensive cities remained of the cities of Judah. This is the word that came unto Jeremiah from the Lord, after that the king Zedekiah had made a covenant with all the people which were at Jerusalem to proclaim liberty unto them, that every man should let his manservant and every man his maidservant, being an Hebrew or an Hebrewess, go free, that none should serve himself of them, the wit of a Jew his brother. Now when all the princes and all the people which had entered into the covenant heard that everyone should let his manservant and everyone his maidservant go free, that none should serve themselves of them any more, then they obeyed and let them go. But afterward they turned and caused the servants and the handmaids whom they had let go free to return and brought them into subjection for servants and for handmaids. Therefore the word of the Lord came to Jeremiah from the Lord, saying, Thus saith the Lord, the God of Israel, I made a covenant with your fathers in the day that I brought them forth out of the land of Egypt, out of the house of bondmen, saying, at the end of seven years let ye go every man his brother in Hebrew, which hath been sold unto thee. And when he hath served thee six years, thou shalt let him go free from thee. But your fathers hearkened not unto me, neither inclined their ear. And ye were now turned, and had done right in my sight in proclaiming liberty every man to his neighbor. And ye had made a covenant before me in the house which is called by my name. But ye turned and polluted my name 
and caused every man his servant and every man his handmaid whom ye had set at liberty at their pleasure to return and brought them into subjection to be unto you for servants and for handmaids. Therefore thus saith the Lord, ye have not hearkened unto me in proclaiming liberty every one to his brother and every man to his neighbor. Behold, I proclaim a liberty for you, saith the Lord, to the sword, to the pestilence, and to the famine. And I will make you to be removed into all the kingdoms of the earth. And I will give the men that have transgressed my covenant, which have not performed the words of the covenant which they had made before me, when they cut the calf in twain and passed between the parts thereof, the princes of Judah and the princes of Jerusalem, the eunuchs and the priests, and all the people of the land which passed between the parts of the calf, I will even give them into the hand of their enemies and into the hand of them that seek their life. And their dead bodies shall be for meat unto the fowls of the heaven and to the beasts of the earth. And Zedekiah king of Judah and his princes will I give into the hand of their enemies and into the hand of them that seek their life and into the hand of the king of Babylon's army which are gone up from you. Behold, I will command, saith the Lord, and cause them to return to this city. And they shall fight against it and take it and burn it with fire. And I will make the cities of Judah a desolation without an inhabitant. <laughs>